hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back once again to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be delving deep into google search lab it's a new tool that helps you to access further details of information that you are looking for in google don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also share my video with friends and family all right without any further ado let's get right into it Alright, so how do you get started with this? Just quickly hit this button here which says search labs. Once you click on that, it's gonna throw up three labs for you. And in each of these labs, just make sure that you turn on each of these buttons. So once you click on this, uh, it's gonna ask you to accept this. So I'm gonna agree and then it's gonna check it. The same goes for these remaining two. So when you have these three things uh, checkmated, and um, you want to search the normal thing that you do on Google, the generative AI is going to help you to explore more on a particular information that you are looking for. Let's assume you want to search about brand identity and then hit enter. And you could see it's beginning to generate responses. And you could see here that's already giving you a clue of what brand identity is. You can also hit on any of these follow up questions that it has given you, and then you will look deeper on that particular information. Let's assume you want to hit um what are the five pillars of brand identity once you hit on that it's going to generate responses for you as well and if you want to um also search for things let's say a follow-up question might be uh, recommend recommended test books or books for brand identity let's see if the ai is going to generate this and then hit enter okay so you could see it has also recommended some books for you that you could buy and it will help you to look deeper into this particular topic now let's explore uh, that of the code of course when you hit on this try example you could you will see definitely the sample that they have already given you once you click on the try example for the code it's gonna generate like a basic JavaScript code for you to help you see if a key exists let's assume that you are working on a math or not math lab let's say Python and you want to check uh, how to to add in python and then you hit enter it's going to generate a response for you based on the question that you just asked it let's assume also that you want to do let's say how to write a function in python and then hit enter it's going to generate a response for you and this is it's giving you a clue on how a function is being written in python it also went for that to kind of show you what each parameters mean i'm just going to copy this and just place it on the normal search bar and then hit enter to see if it's going to give me like a different response hit enter wow this one gave me like more even like an example it also gave me an example so you see you can actually utilize this for your normal code search and the rest to help you become better and effective programmer uh the last but not the least is for the ad sheets let's assume you have a vacation coming up and you want to go um trip to let's say yeah let's say new york hit enter once we hit enter it's going to generate response using ai as well but i want you to notice something here when you hover around a particular subject you could see this spreadsheet icon written here once you click on that you can add a spreadsheet let me call it a vacation and then create so I'm, it's going to save this particular expedia information on that excel sheet i can also save this one for travelocity i'm going to click on the spreadsheet it's going to add that to to vacation done so if i want to check this information maybe i close down everything and I, and I came back later and i want to see if this information is still saved here i'm going to open up a new tab and uh, go to my google form go to form and hit on this hamburger menu and then i'm gonna see sheets once i hit on that you're gonna see the new sheets that i created once i click on that all those information that i saved earlier is gonna be here so if i want to save more i can navigate here and also save this one too save it on the vacation hit done if i go back here you can see that particular information has been populated here so if i want to see more about this i can either copy this or maybe click on it and then see more about this um particular uh, information regarding trip to new york city so this is how you can actually use these tools okay i hope you've been able to learn something today 
don't forget to subscribe and like my video and also share with friends all right see you in the next video tell me what you feel like in the comment section let me hear your responses and if there is anything you want me to throw more light on just let me know all right take care bye peace